help with woman suffrage and to vote. <laughs> Hi, my name is Muriel. I met in I met Viva in New York and and became friends with her. I traveled with her to help find her sister Chloe. Hi, my name is Mr. Martin. I am wanted by the parties for speaking out against the war. I am friends with Chloe and help her in the fight for women's suffrage. Hi, my name is Violet. I am Chloe's little sister. My parents hid letters from me from my sister Chloe. Here, let me read you one. standing at the top of the steps to throw down letters from the opposite party. I did not lose my femininity. There's still newsboys who were on the street hollering that the war was over. I was treating influenza patients. Everyone dashed down to the street. But then it turned out not to be true. Everyone, everyone said that war can't last much longer. Some of them had only gotten the right to vote two women whose sons were killed in the war. That makes me angry, as if women are only as good as men if their sons die. But the U.S. doesn't even have that. Write if you can, the address is on the envelope. Your loving sister, Chloe. Here are some of the signs that they use for women's suffrage. Dear Mr. President, how, what, what will you do for women's suffrage? How long must women wait for liberty? Vote. Vote women's rights. And vote. Those are some of the signs that they used for women's suffrage when they voted, asking for vote. I'm not gonna tell you how this represents in the hope chest. I'm gonna have to leave that to you to figure out yourself when you read it. This train means that when Violet was looking for her sister, Chloe, she traveled on a train a lot to try to find her sister. She went to New York and then to Tennessee. These roses, represent the antis and the suffragists. This red rose is what the antis wore, which meant that they, it represented that they were against women's suffrage and that they did not want women to vote. They either wore it in their hair or on their shirt. This yellow rose represented the suffragists. If you wore this then it represented that you were a suffragist and that you wanted women to vote and you were helping with that. This is a great, the Hope Chest is a great book. I really hope that you will, and if you read it, you will enjoy the book. It has facts, history, and a great story. I hope that someday you will want to read this book. <laughs>